a bit uninspiring in the first half, especially in England penultimate game before Euro 2024. Hello, welcome to my channel. This is my full time reaction of our game that finished in Newcastle, eventually, where it finished England 3, Bosnia 0. Um, and in the end, our quality just shone through. They they were tired, and yeah, our quality just shone through in the end, um, which was expected. But I have a few worries. I have a few worries. I have a little bit of concern going in to Euro 2024. And like I said, we were very very uninspiring in my opinion in that first half. Um, it, in the way we moved the ball, I thought it was not acceptable the way we moved the ball. Shout outs to people like um, Eze took his chance, he was phenomenal. Palmer um, showed glimpses of his Chelsea form in the first half. Um, but credit to Bosnia, credit to Bosnia, um, the player in the England team that they probably they'd never faced before in a stadium they've never ever played at really before um, under a manager um, taking his first professional steps in management and I thought they were really 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 good really competitive Bosnia I thought they had a game plan I thought they frustrated England um, for large parts um, but eventually um, our quality just shone through and we went up a few levels in the second half the big boys come on and we put them to bed but my problem is we still can't break down a low block we still we still can't break down a low block we move the ball so lethargically so laboured in that in in that first half everything was in front of Bosnia no one was um, prepared to take the ball and spin in behind and get their Bosnia Bosnia defenders heads turning, none really, none really, um, I, I remember one from Trippier that done that in the first half, um, um, and we and we nearly got in, um, but not enough of that for me, a little bit safe, a little bit laboured in that first half, um, and we were rightly so drawing the game nil-nil at half time, and credit to Bosnia because what their game plan was, whatever their game plan was, it worked. Um, and they were frustrating me, they were frustrating England as a whole. Um, but that is my problem, because that is what we're going to come up against in um, the tournament, probably in our first game. Um, they're going to sit behind the ball, our opponents, in the first game, and they're going to ask us to break us down. And eventually, I think we will. But against bigger teams... We got to move the ball quicker. We got to move the ball quicker. We got to have a little bit more purpose and intent of um, what we're doing on the ball. Um, but look, I'm, I'm assuming um, I'm gonna like I'm gonna probably name this video something like "Job Done." Um, but it was in the end. Second half, much improved. Much improved. We press them higher. Um, I thought we gave them too much respect in the first half. Let's be real, we were, we were home away team, if you get where I'm coming from. Um, but I thought in the second half, um, we pressed them up much higher. I thought we moved the ball much more slicker, with a bit more tempo and intensity to what our work. And we, and we cut them open at times at will. Um, we... I thought I thought the difference was in the first half everything was too central. No one was being brave enough to pull out wide and keep the keep the keep the width on the on the wings. And that is exactly how we got our first goal. It was brilliant, brilliant movement um, that created the corner. Corner comes in penalty. Cole Palmer sticks it away, and then from there the the floodgates open really. They were tiring and it was only a, a matter of time. But look, work to do. We've got to learn how to break down these players, um, teams that play a low block because we will come up against them in Germany. And if we don't move the ball quicker, if we don't have any ideas, um, second ideas, 
Um, if we don't have any players willing to get on the ball and running behind, we will be in for long, long nights in Germany. Shout outs to Cole Palmer, shout outs to Eze, shout outs to Wilson, and obviously, um, Gareth Brunthwaite doing his uh, all them boys making their England debuts. Phenomenal, phenomenal showing from, from Eze. Looks like he'd been there for years. Um, but yeah, look. It is what it is, job done, um, and we move on to the last warm-up game this Friday at home at Wembley against a shop, Iceland, come to town. Better second half performance, boys, but that first half, alarm bells were ringing. We got the job done, though, coming with three lines. <laughs> 